Hello, buddy. Well, that game bro station. So after dealing with the twins, I remembered that this room has a bunch of candlesticks. Does it now? Yeah. So what does that mean? Uh, like them all. Um. Very good. That was really interesting. You missed one in the middle. Oh. You did just a little too fast. No middle. There you go. Oh, there we go. There you go. I was yeah. like, is it doing so? And then I realized I wasn't moving on my own. I was like, oh. <gasps> Ambush. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the little... Uh... Shy Guy Ghosts. Yeah. I actually really like the Shy Guy Ghosts. Oh, they're actually characters from Final Fantasy IX. How so? Is it Final Fantasy IX? Vivi? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Vivi was... Fuck off! Yeah, Vivi was, uh, Final Fantasy Nine. Or you could refer to those, like, aliens from, uh, New Hope, Star Wars. Whoa. Oh, the little, uh... Jawas. Jawas. What did it? That's, love like, the them. only line I know how to do. I love those little guys. Oh, it's Christmas! Red and then green. Okay, He's Luigi. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Luigi! <laughs> it's like, it's like, hey, hey, Java, which, uh, which, uh, magician, uh, magician do you want to see? <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's hilarious. I love puns. Oh, like I said, it always sounded like they were saying Houdini. Oh, God. Get rid of the grabber. No touching. Otherwise, I'll have to approach you. Get them. Get them. Really? Ooh, Ooh, double. Yes! Mm, yes, you did it. Oh. Very good. You got two hearts. <laughs> Better yeah. than none. And there's the. Oh, no. Nah. It's a deploy. Decoy. Deploy, decoy. Deploy the decoy. Also, kind of a trippy looking room, too. Yes. Hopefully Hello. I can. I'm Boozwoggle. Hopefully, I can actually get out of this room now, because before it wouldn't let me leave. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh god, this is really awkward. Ugh. Yeah, he went- damn it, he went in the room that- uh, Alright, well, I can't get him right now, but whatever. I... Uh, he's in the enclosed space? Well, he's- The only way to get into that room was to go through the first floor again. Uh, Cause the other one ran into that one as well, and I got him when- Fair enough. But Ooh. we're in this room, we're in the observatory now. What right. are we going to observe in the observatory? A really trippy section. Oh, I think I've heard actually. Well, let's uh, check it out, huh? Try to remember how this. I like the VZ. Oh. Outer space someday. I know, but you went through it too fast. Oh, yeah, I get it. Is that a joke? <laughs> Might be. Because were they working on Mario Galaxy at the time? They might have been. That would have been cool. Because technically Luigi does make it to space. Yup. Especially in a haunted little house. No? No? I told me it's an out of space someday. I'm trying to remember. Something... We do something and it lets us activate, like, the room or something. Yeah, I remember something. Like, what? You don't, like, go up to the telescope and hump it or something? I mean, maybe? Oh, yeah. I actually had to activate it. Wow, so pretty. Oh, nice. I wish I could enjoy this with my big brother. <clears throat> but he's in the painting. Oh, look, it's Majora's Mask. <laughs> Hello. You know, it's funny. Every time I look at the moon, I can never see the rabbit. Like, I know that's supposed to be, like, Japanese lore or something. Yeah. To, uh... The rabbit on the moon. I mean, I can kind of see it, but not really. But at the same time, I also can't see the man on the moon. Hmm. And I've Googled image search, like, Hey, could you point that out for really? me, please? Yeah. And, I don't know, all I see are craters. Which is weird, because, like, you know the whole, like, Jesus and the toast thing? Where people, like, make out images and, oh, like, yeah. obstructive, obscure things? Yeah. I don't know, for some reason, I just can't do that with the moon. Fucking perspective. <laughs> you got this, dude. Anyway, keep shooting the Lumas, Adam. Or the 
star bits, even though they're round. There you go. Uh, yeah, you destroyed the fake moon. I'm Piccolo. Yes, you are. Which is fitting, because I'm also green. Oh, there's Mario's star. Aww. It's looking very cookie cutter. Yeah. That's kind of strange. Yeah, it's not as, like, sharp as it normally looks. It looks like they rounded the edges on the model. Again, it looks like a cookie cutter thing. Doesn't even look like a plumpy thing. Yeah. You'll find Mario Star. It's a glittering beauty. So that leaves the letters now. Is that the only item for Mario left? I believe so. Mm. Where we get that, I don't remember, but... We'll find it. Oh yeah, I love we found all game. the other ones, and I didn't remember where the hell they were. Very good. All right, folks. So I'm gonna continue <clears throat> with my little storytelling because again, I have no idea if you guys like this or not, but hopefully you do. So I'm gonna move on to one of the most infamous icons of Jersey cryptic lore, simply known as the Jersey Devil. Without a doubt, New Jersey's Devil is the most endearing piece of folklore in the tale of the infamous Jersey Devil. For close to 300 years now, Jerseyans, huh, I've actually thought of that term before, have really? told tales of the beast that stalks the Bine Parent. Bine <laughs> Bine Parents! Jesus Christ. Most reports concern the strange tracks in the sandy soil in the desolate area. The tracks resemble claw prints with a strange bird or hoof like made by two legged creature. Actually, signs are least common. But those who catch a glimpse describe a weird collection of the animal parts. The body of a kangaroo, the head of a dog, the face of a horse, leathery, large leathery wings, antlers like a deer's, a forked reptilian tail, and intimidating claws. A typical description appeared at the Asbury Park Press of October... Oh, hang on folks, we'll be right back. So we're showing her the star now. If it isn't Mario Star, what otherworldly beauty! Doesn't it all look like a cookie. <laughs> and the spirits come, they come. Hey, the they come. Kind of gross. They're coming. <clears throat> Cause they got star and fetish. The thing of the clap. <laughs> they, they like the pointy edge. Seek. Stick it up your butt. Aha! Uh -huh, I can hear it. Your brother Mario. What you he saying? He cries out for you. Okay. What? The power of the booze? You wish to tell us something of yeah. their mysterious boo power. Uh, they got it. Oh, and now... What? They have strange powers when they gather in numbers. Their power grows stronger. But they do fear your mighty Poltergust 3000. He God made it. And then they can't say anything. Okay. Well, I learned nothing. Anyway, so like I was saying... Where am I? Ah, yes. <clears throat> uh... A typical description appeared in the Asbury uh, Park Press of October 1988, in which a Powell Township man described an 1981 encounter with a six-foot-tall creature with a furry body, huge three-toed feet, and large teeth. Any story that these this persists raised a few questions. Why have New Jerseyans embraced this legend so steadfastly? Is there actually some sort of creature roaming the southern New Jersey? And if so, what in God's name is it? Legend has had that in 1735, Pine residents known as the Mother Leeds found herself pregnant with her 13th time. For the 13th time. The Leeds family were among New Jersey's earliest settlers, but Mother Leeds was not living a wealthy lifestyle by any means. Her husband was a drunkard who made few efforts to provide for his wife and 12 children. Oh, fucking course he did. Reaching the point of exasperation upon learning of her 13th child, she raised her hands to the heavens and proclaimed, Let this one be a devil. On... Wow, that's a weird word. Hmm? On a stormy night... I'm just gonna ignore that because that's just like a goofy sounding name. Hmm. On a stormy night, months later... <laughs> Mother Leeds went into labor. Her children and husband huddled together in one room on their Leeds Point home, while local midwives gathered to deliver the baby in another. By all accounts, the birth went routinely, and the 13th Leeds child appeared to be a normal baby boy. Within minutes, however, the unholy wish had come true, 
and the wailing infant began to grow an incredible rate. And metamorpho Whoa. Metamorphose. Wow, that's a weird way to say metamorphized. Mm. Whatever. Anyway, transformed into something hideous. It sprouted horns from the top of its head, and the talon-like claws tore through the tips of its fingers. Leathery bat-like wings unfold from its back, and the hair and the feathers sprouted all over the child's body. Its eyes began glowing bright red as they glue, glue, grew larger in the monster's gnarled and snarling face. The creature savagely attacked and killed its own mother, then turned its attention to the rest of the horrified onlookers. It flew at them, clawing and biting, voicing unearthly shrieks. It tore the midwives limb from limb, maiming some and killing others. The monster had then knocked down the door to the next room to attack its father and siblings, killing as many as it could. Those who survived saw it fly up the chimney, destroying it on its way and leaving. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. A pile of rubble in its wake. The creature then made good to his escape into the darkness and desolate of the Pine Barrens where it had lived ever since. In the years that followed, the creature became known as the Leeds Devil, the Jersey Devil, or the Phantom of the Pines. In the 18th and 19th century, it appeared to be sporadically throughout the Pine Barrens region, frightened residents and anyone brave enough to traverse the undeveloped expanses of New Jersey's southern reaches. Unearthly whales from the dark forest and swampy bogs and the slaughter of domesticated animals would invariably be attributed to the Phantom of the Pines. Phantom of the Pines. Oh. As they, as the legends grew, so did the Devil's uh, stamping grounds. During the week of January 16th to the 23rd in 1909, he apparently traveled far afield. Early in weeks, report emerged from all over Delaware Valley telling of strange tracks in the snow. The mysterious footprints went over and under fences, through fields and backyards and across rooftops of houses. There were even reports in large cities of Camden and Philadelphia. Panic spread and grew even greater when reports came through that bloodhounds refused to follow the trail into Hammington. In lower New Jersey and Philadelphia, schools closed, suffered low attendance, mills in the Pine Barrens were forced to close when workers refused to leave their homes and travel through the woods to get to their jobs. Eyewitnesses spotted the beast in Camden and Bristol. Yeah, I said that correctly. Pennsylvania. Police in both cities fired on it and did not bring it down. A few days later, it reappeared in Camden, attacking the late night meeting of a social club and then flying away. Damn. Early in that day, it had appeared and oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Also, we're gonna catch her now, I think. Ooh! Because I found the letters there in the birdhouse. Fuck the Jersey Devil, let's see what she's up to. <laughs> Visit Mario's letter, give it to me, I will read it at once. Um, sure, it's okay, I'm a licensed letter reader. Yep. What? What? Hmm, let's see. Look out for Booze Luigi. Yeah, no shit. Is that all? Not a lot, not a... Not, Not a, a novelist, novelist your Mario. <laughs> this must, must have been written in quite a hurry. Look out for the boys. Oh, they come. Spirits come. Oh, sure. Ghosts and shit. Crystal orb. All you can. <clears throat> ah, the spirits return to me. I see, I see. I see your dear Mario. The scene appears before me. Uh oh. Well, what is this? Bowser? How can this be? I see the hideous form of Bowser. Is Bowser somewhere in this mansion? I cannot believe it. Oh, no. And yet I see it. Bowser. I thought that Mario had soundly defeated Bowser. That's all he does. Has King Boo somehow revived Bowser? This could be horrible. Well, for you. Wait, how does King Boo do that? I thought Kamek uh, did it. Oh, uh, no. The powers leave me. The spirits depart. This is all I can show you, Luigi. That was the last of my power. But I have given words to what the spirits have shown, so I can return to my painting satisfied. Send me there now, you vacuum reelding rogue! Ah, finally, I can return in peace to my painting. Sweet happiness and oils. 
I thank you! I thank you, kind Luigi! And then we still have to suck her up. Cool. She doesn't go in willingly, but... <laughs> she, she says she's happy to! And then and struggles this anyway. happens anyway, yep. Yeah, that makes no sense. Anyway, let well, me conclude real quick here. Uh... Uh, 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 I witnessed a spotted beast in Camden, but attacking, uh, late night terrorizing, uh, uh, okay, so pretty much long story short, the Jersey Devil's a dick. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, tune in next time, folks, when we talk more about Jersey Devil and why the fuck is it being such a fucking dick. God damn it, I had to transform into a little goat man. To uh, be continued, everybody. Fucking yes. It's probably a great horned owl!